Hey, welcome back. We had a request coming to look at elemental tabs. Let me show you what the problem is. When you have, say, a vertical tab or a horizontal tab, when you move between them, you can show different content. This is fantastic, brilliant. You can add in templates, short codes, images, videos, whatever you want. You can be really, really um, funky with this. You can even put an elemental form into a template and put the short code in here. So if you wanna have three or four different types of forms, this is great to do. But here's the key feature that was missing on the Elementor tabs. Remember, this is Elementor Pro, Elementor tabs, all right? We're not using any other additional plugin here. You're missing the icons. So whereas with the accordion, you have like a plus and minus, and you can modify these as well, okay? Or you have the toggle where again, you have icons, so you can again, modify these to icons. So you can, you can make it fit your branding or styling. With tabs, you don't have that. And there are ways to do it where you can add in a um, like an I class for say an FA minus plus, minus plus, FA plus circle icon. So you get a plus icon, a bit like this one, but this time in a circle. You could do that in the tab name. That's great, that's pretty simple. But what if you want it to change? Look at this accordion, it turned into a minus. Look at the toggle, it turned into a different, um, an upwards arrow head kind of thing. Well, what if we want to do that with the tab? I'm going to show you how to do that right now. So I'm going to drop into down here another tab. So we're going to just start completely from scratch here, okay? Let's just drop in a tab like that. In fact, let's just give it a bit of spacing from the top so it's not completely hidden away. There we go. So we've got tab one and tab two. This is pretty standard stuff, okay, with um, Elementor. I'm just gonna get rid of tab two for a minute and just focus on tab one. The name is tab hashtag one and we can change it to whatever we want, okay? That would be the name. But what we're gonna do instead is replace that with a bit of code. The code we're going to use is this one here. Don't get too scared about this, okay? This code is basically saying what is going to be the color and the symbol FA minus for when it's open. So when it's open, I wanna have a minus symbol. Anything that is not open you, open, you have a plus symbol. So I'm saying, look, here's all your options. But once you've activated it, the minus symbol appears because now you've got to close it if you wanna move on. And then down here, we have another bit of code to say, here's now gonna, this is the color for when you want to open. And here's the symbol FA plus, okay? now. This is already going to stick it into a circle, so I don't need to use the FA plus circle or the FA minus circle. You'll see what I mean. Okay, so here's the color and the icon for when it's open. So it's so I want to close it. But here's the icon for when they are closed and I want to open. I'm probably not making sense, but it will in a moment. So I'm just going to pick this up and change this to say tab one, like that. And I'm going to drop that into here, like that. So now we have minus and plus. Now at the moment, there's no circle around them because we haven't done the styling and it says tab one. I'm gonna quickly duplicate this and I'm gonna go all the way to the end and I'm gonna change it from tab one to tab two. In fact, I could call it whatever I want, okay? So don't feel like you just gotta call it tab, you know, the, the bit right at the end is the name. This code will be in the description, all right? So don't you worry about that. But at the moment, it doesn't look stylistically very good at the moment, right? Then go to advanced and in the CSS ID down here, we're going to add in the word tabs just here. Okay, but I don't need to do that, no. We're then gonna go to the custom CSS and I'm gonna dump in another bit of code. Now this code is a little bit bigger. It's not huge. It's mainly to do with styling, okay? And again, please don't get scared of the code or anything like that. It's, it's not, it's not, it's honestly not that big. Okay, we're gonna dump that into here. And instantly we get this effect going on here. So now I have a plus for what is closed and what's open is a minus. So look, look at that. I now have plus, plus, plus like that. So if something is open, it will now position itself. Now I am just gonna go over here and I'm gonna change this to be a uh, vertical. Because the vertical looks a little bit better in my opinion, okay? And we now have this um, plus minus effect. And look, if I now just duplicate the hello tab, 
Let's just duplicate it a few times. Look at that. We now have symbols next door to our tabs. This is pretty, pretty cool and, and simple to do. And if you want to focus on the custom CSS down here, let me just expand it out for you a little bit. The, uh, uh, what I would say, though, is that um, when you go to your content, if we now decide for tab one, the color for when it's a minus is going to be a blue color, for instance, like that. OK, um, that is only going to change the text, okay? The text color. If you want to change the icon color, so anytime in here where you have the colors and you've got one for here as well, the FA000, which is red, that's the text color. To do the color for the, sorry, I've lost where I am now, advanced custom CSS. To do the color of the icon, you've got to do it down here. So I'm going to change this to be uh, 00, no, no, it's 00. What did I do? Oh, oh, zero, 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 FF, like that. Now we get the blue. Okay, so now you can alternate your colors or pick what you want to go for. And this is where you start to think about your padding. So if I do 40, is that making sense now with how the circle appears? Uh, and then you can, you know, look, I mean, look, I could even go down here and take away and have a square, you know, so you can have a bit of control over um, how it basically looks. Um, this is all about the opacity. So when it, it it kind of appears a little bit, so there's a bit of a transition going on there. Um, this is then for the color afterwards. So look, I'll make a point and I'm going to change this to be FF0000. Uh, so now they're all going to be red. Remember, we're touching the icon color. And, you know, uh, if you want to mess around with it, you can do. Um, but this is now a pretty unique and simple way to now add icons. So rather than having that look, you can have something similar to what you had here. And remember, you don't have to go here with where I've got the circles and stuff like that. You don't have to do that. So go with what works best for you. And I hope you like, subscribe, share and follow. And I hope that helps you out.